The Haunted Pumpkin Patch, a Halloween adventure. It was a crisp autumn evening, and the small town of Willow Creek was buzzing with excitement. Halloween was just around the corner, and everyone was preparing for the spooky celebration. Children were carving pumpkins, houses were decorated with glowing jacko, lanterns, and the air smelled of sweet candy and warm apple cider. But there was one place in Willow Creek that no one dared to visit, the haunted pumpkin patch. Legend had it that the pumpkin patch was cursed. Every Halloween night, strange things happened there, pumpkins moved on their own, eerie whispers filled the air, and glowing lights flickered deep in the woods. The townspeople warned their children to stay far away from the patch, but for three friends, Eli, Sophie, and Max, it was too tempting to resist. I bet the legend isn't real, Eli said one afternoon as they sat on Sophie's porch, staring out at the distant pumpkin patch. Sophie shivered. But what if it is? My older brother says he saw glowing pumpkins there last year. Max grinned mischievously. There's only one way to find out, right? Let's go check it out on Halloween night. What's the worst that could happen? Sophie wasn't so sure, but she didn't want to be left behind. Okay, she said, her voice trembling just a little. But we'll need flashlights. And costumes. Halloween night arrived quickly, and the streets were filled with children in costumes, trick-or-treating from house to house. But while everyone else was collecting candy, Eli, Sophie, and Max had a different plan. Dressed in their costumes, Eli as a ghost, Sophie as a witch, and Max as a vampire, they sneaked away from the busy streets and headed toward the haunted pumpkin patch. The moon was full, casting an eerie glow over the fields as they approached the patch. The wind rustled the dry leaves, and the distant sound of laughter and Halloween fun seemed far away now. There it is, Max whispered as they reached the edge of the pumpkin patch. Hundreds of pumpkins lay scattered across the field, their orange shapes glowing faintly in the moonlight. Eli turned on his flashlight, sweeping the beam across the patch. See? Nothing spooky about this place. But just as the words left his mouth, something moved. A pumpkin, large and round, rolled across the ground, all on its own. Sophie gasped. Did you see that? Before they could react, a low, eerie voice echoed through the patch. Who dares enter my pumpkin patch? The three friends froze. The pumpkins around them began to glow with an unnatural light, their twisted faces appearing out of nowhere as if they had been carved in the blink of an eye. We, uh, just wanted to. Look around. Max stammered, his bravado quickly fading. Suddenly, one of the pumpkins at the center of the patch began to rise. It lifted into the air, and from beneath it, a figure emerged, a tall, shadowy figure with glowing eyes and a cloak made of leaves and vines. I am the pumpkin guardian, the figure said, its voice deep and haunting. And no one comes to this patch without facing the Halloween challenge. Eli, Sophie, and Max looked at each other, their hearts pounding. W, what's the Halloween challenge? Sophie asked, her voice barely a whisper. The pumpkin guardian waved its hand, and three pumpkins floated toward them. You must each carve a pumpkin, but not just any pumpkin. You must carve the face of your greatest fear. Only then will you be free to leave. The three friends stared at the glowing pumpkins in front of them. Carve their greatest fear? They weren't sure they could do it, but there was no turning back now. Eli was the first to step forward. He picked up a carving knife and stared at the pumpkin. His hands shook, but he knew what he had to do. He thought about his fear of heights, how he always felt dizzy and afraid when he looked down from tall places. Slowly, he carved a swirling, dizzying pattern into the pumpkin, the lines twisting and turning like the dizzying heights he feared. As soon as he finished, the pumpkin glowed even brighter, and the pumpkin guardian nodded. You have faced your fear. Next, it was Sophie's turn. She was afraid of the dark, afraid of what might be lurking in the shadows when she couldn't see. She carefully carved her pumpkin, making it look like a dark cave with shadows creeping out from the edges. When she was done, her pumpkin flickered with a soft, eerie glow. You have faced your fear, the pumpkin guardian said. Finally. It was Max's turn. Max had always been afraid of spiders. Just the thought of their eight legs made his skin crawl. 
He hesitated for a moment, but then, with a deep breath, he began carving. He carved the shape of a giant spider, its legs stretching across the pumpkin surface. When he finished, the pumpkin glowed with a dark, web-like light. You have all faced your fears, the pumpkin guardian said, its voice softer now. You are free to leave the patch, but remember, true courage is not the absence of fear, but the strength to face it. With that, the glowing pumpkins dimmed, and the pumpkin guardian slowly faded into the night, leaving only the quiet rustle of the wind. The three friends stood in stunned silence for a moment before Max finally spoke. Well, that was the spookiest Halloween ever. Sophie nodded, but also the bravest. As they made their way back to the village, they knew they would never forget their adventure in the haunted pumpkin patch. And from that night on, they weren't just trick-or-treaters, they were the friends who had faced the Pumpkin Guardian's challenge and conquered their greatest fears.